Well, what's going on folks? So I have finally got the package that I've been waiting for for about a month now. So this is the rooftop tent that was finally delivered today uh, via an LTL service. And I think that was one of the issues that I had, you know, these less than load uh, c carriers, they didn't have the address, they couldn't find the address and they had the wrong phone number and it just went back and forth. And finally, they were able to drop this thing off today. This carton, this package weighs over 200 pounds. Now the tent inside it, weighs around 170 so i don't even it's going to take me half a day to unbox this thing i don't even know how to unbox it yet you i guess you got these little straps that you have to and somehow remove all of them i don't know so it's going to take me i don't know hours to probably get this thing out but what i'm going to do i'm going to put you folks on a tripod get you on a time lapse and you can watch the blunders of me trying to rip this thing apart without damaging the contents inside Um, it wasn't very easy, but I'm not too disappointed with how well they packaged this thing. It's pretty well protected. So somehow I got to get this out of it, but I don't think I've ever received a package that was done that way. Here's a handle. This weighs how much? 175 pounds. You got it. All right, back to time lapse. Well, we finally got it on some saw horses. These things are surprisingly fairly heavy. Like I said, I think it's around 175-ish pounds, is at least what the spec sheet says. So I haven't opened it up yet. I'm gonna wait just a second to figure out if I'm brave enough to open it up in the garage. I don't know if I have enough room because this is the part that opens up like an A-frame and I don't know if it's gonna hit up here on my, on my garage, but we got it out of the box. Um, you can see this is from Nature Nest and this is just a, an A-frame rooftop tent but uh got quite a few good reviews on it so it's not your your high-end really super expensive rooftop tent you can spend three four five thousand dollars on these things uh this is definitely not that expensive so the hardest part is going to be finding a home for the box that it came in i've got to completely demolish that so i can throw it away because i can't just stick that on the side of the street but at least it was packaged well and uh, it protected it i don't see any damage really anywhere So it all looks pretty good. Now, I'm gonna check back in here in just a little bit when we open this thing up for the first time, because I want you folks to be a part of that, see what it looks like, because uh, I have never seen inside this tent before, so. Yeah, gang, we'll see you in just a little bit. Well, all right, y'all, I got the tent down here on the ground, because I didn't think I was gonna have enough room to lift it up and clear the garage door. So I'm just gonna open it up for the first time here on this video. There's probably a bunch of plastic wrapping on, on the tent inside itself. And, and I'm gonna see what kind of goodies come in the tent because I know there's a ladder and a bunch of stuff in here that we gotta get figured out and put together on the tent. So, and it does come with some luggage rails too, supposedly that fit on top. So let's open this up for the first time and uh, see what I'm getting myself into. All right, so to open this thing up, of course you have your two struts on the sides and there's only two latches right up here in the front. So undo these things. And I believe you just simply barely kind of have to pull this thing up and it kind of does it on its own. So here we go. Oh, we gotta get them out of there. That is so cool. I don't know why I think that's so cool, but that is pretty cool. So it looks like there is this little uh, bungee strap that kind of holds the tent together for when you close it, it doesn't fall out on the side. So I'm gonna pull this bungee down here to the bottom. Oh man, 
I am pumped. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. So we got some instructions. It looks like. Let me get this pulled up here. Wow. All right. So this looks like it's gonna be the um, the luggage, the roof bars, some type of hardware. Okay, and this is the ladder that uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to end up needing to be needing to use it, uh, honestly, with my setup that I plan on using, but the little telescoping ladder is in here. We'll open that up and take a look at it. And these are uh, shoe bags. So when this is elevated up like a normal rooftop tr truck tent, you can connect these little bags to the front of the tent and have a place to uh, like hang your shoes outside so you don't bring mud and whatnot into the tent and then here is all of the the bars the spring bar type things that are going to hold this rain canopy up now i've seen a bunch of reviews on nature nest tent and my gosh i can tell you just putting my knees on this mattress it's pretty comfortable i was assuming i was going to have to buy a little memory foam pad and cut it to size but <laughs> this isn't bad i guess i'm comparing it to sleeping out of the back of my truck last week but it actually feels pretty good. But anyway, uh, a lot of Nature Nest tents have a rain fly that just comes straight out. This is a little bit different model. And the reason that I wanted it was because this rain fly actually comes out on the sides too. Unlike a lot of the Nature Nest tents that I've seen, again, only have this one piece. This has got um, a side piece, so it just gives it a little bit more protection. But let me get these rain flies put up and then we'll take a tour inside. Well, all right, folks, that is a complete setup for this thing. It literally took 10 seconds. And again, if I can kind of point out the reason that I, I chose this style of tent it's because of this extended rain flap that goes all the way along the sides and the front. So you've actually got a little bit of coverage uh, on the side windows with this, uh, with this rain flap, with this rain fly here, instead of this just coming out the front like a lot of these, uh, like a lot of these tents have. I'm really pretty pumped about this thing. And there are a couple of extra of these little poles, like this right here. This got the uh, the longer like L piece, and that is for if you have an awning on your rooftop tent. Instead of using this, that doesn't have any room for an awning right here, you can use this piece, which gets you about four more inches worth of height on this bar, so you can fit your awning on the side. But I don't plan on having an awning, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep these just in case, but that's why these extra pieces are here, uh, in case you're running an awning. But anyway, let's get inside and see just how much room I have to actually stretch out. And while we're here, kind of let me show you the, uh, the mattress situation, because I was a little bit surprised, I'll get this out of my face, just how comfy this is. So you've got a decent little mattress here, you have this guy underneath, if I can get to it, okay? And that's gonna be your, I don't know, just extra padding, but then you have a moisture coating too. So that's gonna kinda help when you're inside from the condensation uh, coming up from the bottom. But I'm, I'm actually really, really surprised at how, how, I don't wanna call it plush, but how cushiony it is. I might not actually need a little mattress stopper but let's take our shoes off and let's go check out our new home for camping on this channel so let's enter here oh man this is cool so up here we've got um some pockets i've seen a few videos where people actually put their ipad in this clear container right here and watch a movie but all these pockets here, you've got this type of like quilting up here. It's not really insulated. I mean, it might be a 16th, an eighth inch thick. I don't know, but 
it looks nicer than just having just either aluminum or a little thin piece of uh, cloth up here. But you got some side storage here on both sides and you do have kind of an integrated USB cord up here that you can run down through these clips all the way down to the bottom and that's where you're going to uh, either put in a little power strip or power bank or for me probably a power station down there in the corner because there is an LED light up here that you can turn on that uh, will give this tent some light. Now the one thing also that I really like about this tent is the black, the black canvas. So um, it's going to be really, really hopefully super dark in here and not let a whole lot of light in. I've had a couple of tents that are, you know, either like a, a bright blue or a green and it's just almost like being in a light bulb when the sun hits it. It's bright inside the tent. And with this being black, uh, I think that uh, we'll be good. So the windows do have two zips. So we can roll down or unzip this section and we just have the window mesh on both sides. So same over here. So a ton of ventilation, but, and then on the front as well. We can take these off one-handed, maybe. There we go. So this can come down. You're gonna have... So you, can, you have a ton of airflow, sides and the front, with this bug mesh. So now for the real test. Let me see if I can lay down in here and fully stretch out and be comfortable. And I don't know which way I'm gonna put my head first. I know most people put their feet underneath here, but I'm laying this way, so let's try it. Ah, oh, okay, that's a little tight. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn my head this way. Oh my gosh. Yes, I can fully completely stretch out. And if I even go like diagonal, I've got even more room. And I'm a little over six feet tall. I am super pumped about this. This is gonna be, this is gonna be so much fun. Cause uh, you know, honestly guys, with the truck camping, it was fun, but I just kind of got to the point where I didn't feel like I was truly camping. And with this, you're really out there more in the open. Um, you can hear all the critters uh, scrumbling around. You can, it just feels like you're more outside. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna enjoy it a little bit more, at least for the time being. But let me get this, uh, let me get this cord connected and get a little power bank. And uh, the LED light strip is that little white light or that white strip that runs all the way down the side. And uh, I wanna see how this, how the light works. Well, it's probably just a tad dark in here, which is great, but I have all the windows zipped up. I've got this little LED light strip installed now. And it's just going from up there. I got the cord running all the way down to just a tiny little, little power brick, but it's perfect, plenty light to see what you need in here. And it's not overpowering. It's a warm light. It's not a cool blue, harsh, really nasty light, but knowing me, I'm probably going to add a little bit more fun lighting in here, but this is absolutely perfect uh, for what you need and what, what you need to be able to see. But this is what I was telling you about with it being so with the black canvas. I mean, it is, if I turn this light off, you cannot see anything in here. It is pitch black. <laughs> Get this turned back on. There we go. So you're going to be able to sleep uh, a lot longer. And I love that I can literally lay down all the way. I have a ton of room left and right. I mean, I'm going to be, have, I have more room in here than I did in my truck in a way. So yeah, folks, I am super pumped about this thing. This is going to be good. Well, gang, that's going to kind of wrap up this video. So I got the tent put back together, got some of the garage cleaned out. Some people came to pick up some junk because I've got to make some room over here 
for what I'm going to be building. And I'll just go ahead and say this is going to be going on a very, very small trailer. And the problem that I'm having and why this hasn't been built yet is that I'm just going to get a Harbor Freight trailer or a Northern Tool trailer. And they are both out of stock. They've been out of stock for about two months now. So I talked to a guy at Northern Tool. They think they're going to be getting some more trailers in here really soon. I can't find any used trailers on Facebook Marketplace because I need it small. I'm talking like a three foot by five foot trailer. Um, and then over here in the corner, I've got my ladder racks that I'm going to put on the trailer to put this on top. Uh, and then I got a whole bunch of other goodies that I'm going to put on the trailer. It's going to make this thing, I hope, really, really fun to use. I'm excited about it. Um, and I went ahead and put the cargo bars on it, which is nice that this comes with. So uh, thinking maybe a kayak rack this summer. Now I've got bars to put an actual kayak rack on it if I decide to get myself a kayak to go not catch any fish. So overall, I'm really happy. I'm really excited about this new setup. So this isn't exactly the video I was wanting to post. I kind of wanted to have everything done and to show you folks the final product, but things are just going really, really slow. <laughs> Slower than I wanted it to, to go. So this is gonna be my new setup moving forward. Uh, the rooftop tent, and I think I kept calling it an A-frame tent. It's not an A-frame. It's a clamshell, whatever you want to call it. So, But anyway, folks, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, hopefully, I'll get the trailer uh, here in the next week or two. Uh, I'll show you folks how that's going to be put together. And then we're going to have ourselves a new rooftop tent slash trailer camping rig to use, hopefully, here really, really soon. And while I'm thinking about it, I do have this little uh, solar panel thing just seeing how big it was but i did a review on that on my other channel and it worked out well it's one of those flexible solar panels so it doesn't add any height or weight or anything to this thing 200 watt panel i think this is from um all powers but anyway that's what i'm, I'm going to be using for solar for this setup so okay now the third time i'm going to wrap this video up so stay tuned i'll show you the build when everything gets here and uh we'll hopefully get our first camping trip really soon so stay tuned folks thanks for watching